Good evening, wanderers of the night. You found yourself on a lost frequency, a hidden beacon in the vast sea of airwaves, a place where the truth hides in the uncharted territories of the Midnight Chronicles. As the world slumbers, we expose the truth to those lost souls that haunt the late hours. I'm your host. You can call me Nightshade. For 22 years, I was an intelligence agent for an agency with no official name, an unlimited budget, and no government oversight. I have seen and experienced things you could not imagine, because my identity and location are a secret, and I only broadcast on this thin band of hidden frequency. I will finally break my oath of secrecy and share with you the many extraordinary truths to which I have been exposed. The following is based on written reports and the eyewitness accounts of the brave men and women inside the secret halls of government who believe that the truth must be told. In 1979 at the Montauk underground military base, the Office of Naval Research in cooperation with the Secret Government Council known as MJ-12, conducted an experiment to combine three very dangerous technologies. One, the chair. The chair was commissioned in 1968 by the NSA, reverse engineered from alien technology that amplifies the spirit, allowing one to astral project through time and space. Also used in a limited capacity to enhance remote viewing abilities. Two, the headband. In 1943, a strange artifact made from metals not native to Earth was discovered deep in an undisclosed Aztec ruin. Its surface contains many symbols, some of sacred geometry and other symbols which are unknown. The headband seems to induce and amplify latent psychic and telekinetic abilities of the wearer. Three, the drug, a substance of unknown origin that must be ingested. The drug cannot be made here on Earth as it contains substances not native to our planet and has only been found in remote areas containing ancient Stargate or portal technology. Once fully absorbed into the body, the drug allows a person to literally create and change the reality around them. Its effects are immediate and can be overwhelming to humans. In some cases, it has triggered irreversible psychosis. The few who have taken it and survived the experience have described it as the feeling of being a god. This particular form of technology is the most dangerous. It is also the most sought after and hardest to find. On November 11th, at precisely 12.01 AM, the experiment began. A man, only known as David, was put into the chair while wearing the headband, and he had already ingested a large quantity of the drug. Immediately upon sitting in the chair, David vanished. After many failed attempts to contact David, the Chief of Naval Research ordered the experiment shut down. Following 24 hours, at least 12 different versions of David randomly appeared, then vanished. Each time with a different yet urgent message for the people running the experiment. The most disturbing version of David was an entity that was described as having extremely black or dark blue skin, completely black eyes and quite taller than the original man referred to itself only as Moloch. When Moloch would appear, it would speak in an as yet unknown language. However, each time the entity would appear, random personnel from the research team would go into a trance-like state and begin translating what this disturbing entity was saying. What was spoken was described as prophetic. Moloch spoke of an imminent and terrible end of all things. Not just the Earth, but the end of time. The headband was thought lost with the original David. Also, information given to the NSA from energy beings that live outside our reality known as Guardians says that unfortunately our future and history timelines have been irreparably damaged by the experiment. The messages and information related to the ONR by the 12 different Davids is still being studied and deciphered today. And so, my wanderers, until we meet again, under the cloak of darkness. Remember, the most important truths are hidden in plain sight. Keep your curiosity alive, for the night's mysteries persist, awaiting our return to delve deeper into the untold truths. This is 
Nightshade, signing off from the Midnight Chronicles. <laughs>